Wolverine worldwide PFAS contamination scare spreading through northern Kent County is leading some families to spend hundreds of dollars to test their own wells. But that is a big burden for some, especially with the holidays approaching. One young family living next to a former Wolverine dump site reached out to Target 8 for help in testing their water. And the results, like so many coming back from around the Rockford area, were not what they wanted to hear. Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker has that side of the story, all new at 6 o'clock. Yeah, Brian and Sue, Laura and Seth Powell live with their young son on 12 Mile Road near the White Pine Trail, not far from a former Wolverine dump site. So we need to take this thing off. Okay, and then let it run for 10 minutes. Okay. The directions for testing PFAS are really pretty simple, but it isn't cheap. $400 for the test itself, almost $200 to ship it. Put these gloves on and let's do this. Laura and Seth Powell are doing this for their two-year-old son, Caleb, who was born here, who loves water. They had no idea they had moved next to a former landfill where Wolverine decades ago dumped its sludge. I mean, you just want to know, right? Definitely. Yeah. The unknown is terrifying. After 10 minutes of running, the water is ready to sample. Two bottles. Let's just pack it in here on ice in a cooler provided by the testing company. I think that's it. Then shipped overnight to the Eurofin lab in South Bend. 19 days later... I think I called Seth and just said, oh, I'm sick to my stomach. 7.3 parts per trillion of PFAS, the likely carcinogen Wolverine once used on its shoes. Well under the EPA's advisory limit of 70, but over the one part per trillion that Harvard University says is unsafe for kids. I mean, it could be worse. Yes, there are people with higher levels, but like I said, any level just doesn't sit well with us for anybody. Mm -hmm. All around Northern Kent County, anxious families are testing their own wells, not waiting for Wolverine or the DEQ. In Serenity Shores, not far from the Powells, private tests found low PFAS levels. Near 11 Mile and Wolven Avenue in Algoma Township, one resident's private tests found an extremely high 2,430 parts per trillion. That helped lead Wolverine to start testing 175 wells in that area. And we just learned today that five private tests found low levels from 12 to 17 parts per trillion in the Russell Ridge neighborhood of Algoma Township. Mine came back at 13.7. That's near 14 Mile Road in Northland Drive. From what I understand, this was all a, a big farm. It's frustrating because we just built our dream house, you know, a year and a half ago, and now we're facing this. She won't let her three young kids drink the water. So the EPA has a limit of 70. Mm -hmm. What is a mom's limit? Zero. Zero. It has to be. I have to protect my children. <laughs> I mean, that's what it comes down to. Now, the Russell Ridge neighbors say they used Gordon water for their tests, which were sent to an out-of-state lab and cost less than $400 each with no shipping costs. Now, their results came back, they said, in less than two weeks.